Yes. All right. He's seeking one of Earth's toughest jobs, but first he has to face Earth's dumbest blobs. <laughs> Tim Scott may have the edge against the view in smart, but can he survive Whoopi's farts? <laughs> ah, that was good. Time once again for... Our view on the view. Ugh. Terrible. <laughs> Republican presidential candidate Tim Scott dropped by the furry five earlier today. And I thought the U.S. had a distinct policy against torture. He took the opportunity to call them out over crap Joy Behar recently said about him, specifically that he doesn't get systemic racism, which is like saying Brian Stelter doesn't get Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> But Joy Behar gets racism, after all. She's been black on Halloween. Yeah. But Joy wasn't there on the show. Apparently, Mondays are her days off when she feeds in the pasture. <laughs> but that is, that is convenient, right? It's like one of my aunts dies every time Brand Kilmeade wants to hang out. <laughs> Maybe Joy needs a full day to read her hate mail, and that's just from the rest of the cast. So Scott had to deal with Sonny Hostin and her typical self-righteousness. Play it. I'm the exception, right? You're the exception. Maybe even Miss Whoopi Goldberg is the exception. One of the reasons why I'm on the show is because of the comments that were made, frankly, on this show, that the only way for a young African-American kid to be successful in this country is to be the exception and not the rule. That is a dangerous, offensive, disgusting message to send to our young people today. I will tell you that if my life is the exception, uh, I can't imagine. But, but I can't. But it is. But it's not actually. Forty percent homelessness. And fifty percent of African Americans. Fifty percent of the folks get, in our community get make thirteen percent of the population. You had the chance to ask the question. I know that I've watched you on the show that you like people to be deferential and respectful. So I'm going to do the that same is thing. That's true. Mm. <laughs> More time to talk. And I thought Will Smith wouldn't let a black man finish. <laughs> If her IQ was half as high as her smugness, she'd be Einstein. And later it got weird after Whippy Goldberg asked a question and Sonny chimed in again. Frankly, my side of the aisle, I think, is doing a fabulous job of making progress. The question is, how do we measure that progress? How is that? Well, let me just give you a couple examples. Here's how well, it works. Was, so, that was me talking to you, okay. so I'd love, I'm, I'm to, I'd love that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lay, Shall I come story. next to her? Come on over here. Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Sit, sir. Sit, sit, sit. Yes. So, the only African American female chief of staff was mine. Mm, that's the most exercise Whoopi's had in years. <laughs> and Sonny looks more frightened than President Biden <laughs> when he sees a flight of stairs. Here's an idea. Let's try it again with music. Shall I come sir. next to her? Come on over here. Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> It's so much better. All right, we're going to stop there. Uh, Kat, um, you, did you watch the whole thing or just the parts that I sent you? I watched it. <laughs> Obviously, just the parts that you sent. <laughs> did I watch a whole episode of The View? No woman can do that unless no. you're stupid. But I here's have the, a job. Here's the thing. How can they call themselves progressives when they keep saying that nothing has progressed? Then it's on them. Right. I also, I just wish I could have, what I could would have watched if I could, would have been Joy Behar watching that. Yes. And being like, I totally made the right call. <laughs> like, I, it was not an accident that they had him there on her day off. Yes. When she was, you know, presented herself as the, you know, expert on systemic racism as mm -hmm. a white lady. Well, she had that one Halloween where she went to <laughs> Diana Ross and she felt she was treated differently. You know, I, I also just... <laughs> He also came off as just extremely likable. Yeah. I know that they booed him when they heard certain things, but it was hard to watch that and get mad at him or think he's a jerk. So I think I think maybe being in an environment like that could make somebody very irritated beyond the ability to do that, but he really pulled it off. What did you make of it, doctor? Um, <laughs> I would have wanted, I, I wanted to hear one thing that didn't happen. People throw around systemic racism. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a buzzword, right? What does it really mean? They asked him to define it. And I would have liked him to use that as an opportunity to get votes. Mm -hmm. To say, look, so we keep telling you, based on the color of your skin, you cannot achieve. It's baked in the system. 
as a way to keep getting Democratic votes, to turn that around and say, well, if you don't like that you haven't achieved, vote Republican. Right. And don't look at me as, as an anomaly. You can have what I have and Sonny has and Whoopi has. Like, I, he, he, is this, he sick of being the token, like, flag bearer for the race? It's, it's annoying. There is this underlying thing there, Jeff, when, when Sonny says that we're the exception. Somebody should say, why are you? Like, because yeah. there's something about, they're kind of saying, like, they're different. Like, how Condescending. You, yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. As a white man, you know this all too well. That is true, man. <laughs> We've been through enough these last three years. Exactly. <laughs> No, I will say, I don't know, admittedly, I don't know a lot about Tim Scott, but just the fact that he got booed at The View is all I need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my vote. <laughs> In fact, I don't take a politician seriously unless they have been ridiculed by <laughs> 90s comedian Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> yes, exactly. And she's the most sensible one. They're all crazy over there. Kennedy, you were, you, you talked about uh, Joy and, and the nonsense that she'd said before. Absolutely. I think on this show. Certainly, Greg. If not, I'm not going to shy away from this. <laughs> no, you're not. We literally talk about anything else. No. No, I'm kidding. No. The View, by the way. We have to say thank you to The View for providing us with inf It was a slow weekend for news, right? I had to do war. <laughs> so <laughs> The View just gave us, like, so much. Did you see it was on Fox all the time? It's like we went, it's like the Fox News went to The View buffet and just started scooping out, uh, going back for more. <laughs> I do hope they, I hope they have all the Republican presidential candidates on. Yeah. I hope they have Nikki Haley. I hope they tell her she doesn't know what it's like to be a woman. Right. Or to be the child of immigrants. I hope they have Donald Trump on. Just, oh, yeah, I oh, hope oh. they blow out all the commercials for that. Yes. Because that. Of Vivek, you don't know what it's like to be 40. <laughs> <laughs> But it, this, this was such nonsense, and we were talking before the show about that, that scary scene yes. where Sonny is, is cowering and Whoopi's strong and loving fart-covered arms because, <laughs> you know, this, this wild, maniacal man is going to leap out of his chair because he can't control himself. Self, yes. He's got so much rage, so much Republican rage. Yes, that exactly. He's going he's to lean into them and strangle the very life out of them. Yeah, I think that... Imagine how bad the studio would smell after that. No, it would be terrible. I just think Joy... <laughs> has to answer to not wanting to be on stage with a black man, you know? That's the systemic racism right that's, there. That's the systemic r racism, totally. By the way, they can't admit that there's progress, because if you admit there's progress, they can't tell Democrats, black Democrats, that things are getting better. They can't tell, because if you tell them things are getting better, then they, they won't, like, they won't still buy into this racism stuff. Didn't Whoopi Goldberg defend Ted Danson for doing blackface for yeah. like a decade? Yeah, because they yeah, they were dating for a while. Yeah. But I did think she thought he was black. <laughs> I don't know. That makes sense. <laughs> yes. All right. We must move on. Up next, we got beef with the new CDC chief. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.